make sure we're live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is November 5th and we're doing another comic book haul video. This is number two. We did one yesterday and we're doing one today. Uh, I think the time is fantastic. Uh, we're uploading maths. We did a math stream uploaded or we did a math stream previously we upload a math stream and then a comic book stream we're going to do another comic book haul video and then we're going to upload a math stream um i think uh very appropriate uh that way people can uh, get a little break from some of the events that are taking place uh, around the world right uh, we keep our eyes on the prize uh, so we decide twitching jason how are you doing thank god a welcome distraction afternoon guys <laughs> fun yeah twitching jason i i sort of intentionally planned on uh we did a lot of heavy stuff leading up to the elections and uh, we talked about this we knew that this was gonna not work out the day of or the day after it was gonna take a few days or a few weeks maybe a few months for things to uh, play out the way they're going to play out and then it's going to be a lot more stuff coming on uh, so we we sort of roll with our own uh, rhythm right that's one thing i've figured out uh, to not allow centralized power corporate propagandists to dictate my rhythm so create our own rhythm that way we can process information better and what better way to do that than comic book call right gluten tag hello how are you today sparks sparklets how are you doing sparklets how are you doing uh, welcome welcome is playing out exactly how we expected yeah it is indeed uh, which is <laughs> Which is crazy that people are, I guess, uh, you know, the, our audience, we're, you know, we don't have a huge broad reach. I'm glad we've talked about it and we figured out this is the way it was going to play out, right? And some other people have, have done as well. Uh, Sleeping Wave Chicho, you live stream almost every day. Your work ethic is out of this world, bro. Brother, uh, I, I've sort of got myself into a rhythm where I do things that I love. Uh, try to anyway everybody has to deal with stuff that you have to deal with life throws your way so i i try to share that as much as i can and uh, it's a pleasure it, it is hard work i can honestly tell you it is hard work doing this uh setting up taking down doing this organizing doing this doing this, doing this sharing linking da -da -da -da, decentralizing it's a lot of work but man it, for me it, it needs to be done right so i just do uh, sparks i'm good just uh, uh listening and it's very relaxing awesome glad you're liking uncharted days hey how are you doing hope you and chat are having a fantastic day pretty good and we're about to look at some more comic books <laughs> i need to make more bookshelves i need to create more space i gotta do a whole house of house cleaning and organize and stuff gina how are you doing uncharted ace thank you for this uh twitch prime sub appreciate it very much uh hey yeah chicho and chat gina gina welcome welcome uh twitch Jason. yeah agreed it's kind of a uh ma masochistic masochistic form of entertainment oh masochistic form of entertainment following these current events like watching a horror film knowing the threat is ultimately minimal <laughs> indeed but there was positives that occurred right and we can talk about those later masochists that love it love it love it uh what comics have we got today Ooh, the comics we got uh golden age comics and modern age comics okay there's only uh, four different titles and one of them there's three copies of it okay uh Kettle and London. Hey, Chicho, Randall, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so it, it should be fun. I'm just going to give people my little intro. Gang, I'm on Patreon if you want to follow this work. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. Everything's laid on mathematics. I don't put anything behind paywall. 
everything's creative commons share and share alike okay for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support we're going to start kicking things up i keep i i know i'm going pretty hard as it is but i need to get into doing some writing and laying down some of the uh, text we need for the math modules that we're going to start sharing right so i'm hoping to get into it by christmas time so thank you for the patience gang uh thank you for the support and thank you for being here okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in that chat twitch is where you want to be at for those of you who've been supporting this work on twitch following sharing commenting liking coming on these live streams participating in discussion and the mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for the support gang i do announce these live streams the scheduled live streams 30 minutes before we go live and unscheduled live streams like this one a few minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gab and twitter you can follow the work there all the links will be in the description of this video and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a fair bit of information regarding a few different topics uh we've got a few different channels a few different folders so you are definitely welcome to join in the discussion there okay Yes, another time. Comics time now. Comics time now. Twitching Jason. Starsky, quote, remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason, and plots. Some English guy. Some English guy. Some English guy. Very relevant. Starsky, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Elder God, you watching London? I did. I'm watching London. Uh, thanks to Elder God keeping me updated and some of my feeds coming in step thank you very much for the follow i didn't get a notification on twitch by the way you haven't got the notification yet okay let me see how many people are here. yeah i don't think notifications have gone out so uh twitch has been uh, sort of uh, a little slow on the notification front uh from uh or not even sending it so we'll see where it goes thank you very much uh small was it uh for the follow appreciate it uh for live streams when we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes okay and at some point i'll in our retirement age maybe if we live long enough another 20 years 20 30 years from now we'll start pulling the audio from all these live streams that we're doing and upload those as sound as audio on uh, as podcast on soundcloud as well right well we we think long term <laughs> and we will be uploading this video to both bit and youtube and for those of you who've been following subscribing sharing liking commenting upvoting on bit and youtube thank you for the support um i'll absolutely i missed the name thank you for the uh follow uh for those of you who are supporting this work on those platforms thank you very much for the support and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership there's a button there and for those of you who've been supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support uh gang comic book time it's a small comic book haul compared to yesterday's okay yay more comic spider-man awesome awesome uh fat boy fat 257 hello hello welcome to our live stream so both notifications have gone out okay awesome and i can see the numbers popping up on twitch a little bit now uh awesome you won f920 oh wow you weren't kidding when you said shortly on your youtube post <laughs> yeah that's what i uh, uh usually i try to set up and you know just as as soon as i know i can go on i just go boom i don't want to keep people waiting right i don't like the live streams when they announce the live streams you're gonna wait two hours for a live stream no 30 minutes is good for uh scheduled ones i let my schedule go uh i you know i set up the schedule countdown on twitch I, yeah <laughs> and in a few minutes means a few minutes for me anyway what up chicho unless something went wrong and sometimes it does it doesn't connect it something goes wacko right hoop hopu bird hopu bird how are you doing hopi bird 
Pui bird. What up, Chicho? How you doing with all this crazy today? Um, but I'm doing good, man. <laughs> it's look, it's something that we ex you know we knew was coming. We we're prepared. Like anybody, uh, you know, you can only be surprised for a certain amount of time. I'm gonna take these guys down. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Hope everyone's doing well. Koda, how are you doing? Hi from New York City. Woohoo, New York. Chicho, thanks for reigniting my interest in comics. Recently been working through the saga series. Awesome. I still haven't read it yet. I still haven't read it yet. I gotta read it. I gotta get my hands on the trades and have a read through it. Uh, I'm loving there's amazing comics being put out, really. It's like brilliant. If you're a fan of any genre really oh, within reason right um, there aren't too many romance comics out there there aren't too many there's political comics out there there's science fiction and fantasies through the roof when it comes to what's being put out in the comic book medium right now relative to what was putting out and being put out in the past the really the science fiction horror fantasy realm has just kicked into overdrive it's insane and there's so many amazing stories being told it's really hard to decide which one you want to read it takes like commitment and then you want to sort of sample here sample there i'm in the sampling phase myself i'm reading a little of this little of this little of this little of this uh and just enjoying it right at some point i'll read the whole series or catch up on a series that i've read you know a couple of issues of and whatnot but right now it's chaotic for me personally i've heard saga is amazing i read a couple of issues of saga and i really liked it so um i read issue number one uh, when the true believers or not true believers that's, yeah, when image first came out uh when they were putting out the one dollar reprints right washington 078 thank you very much for the follow i appreciate it gang should we get into the comic book hall should we get into the comic book hall it's a little one it's a good one it's a little one it's a good one <laughs> and i got this yesterday okay so we did our comic book haul yesterday fantastic comics and um, we bought from this seller before and let me tell you what's uh, not what's in here i'll show you what's in here but let me tell you the cost of this right this comic book haul i go view order details to -tush, to -tush this thing cost 162 dollars canadian there was eight dollars tax and it cost 17.50 for shipping so total for this was 188 dollars let's say and that's about 150 dollars a little bit less 140 dollars us okay so this thing is about 140 dollars us 188 dollars canadian okay and as i said there's four there's four different titles in here okay and there's three copies of one of them uh because it's it was a good deal uh to get it and uh i wanted to have it's a first appearance and i like the character and again it was a great deal it was a good deal the other ones were a great deal okay the u.s and washington dc uh if that's what you're asking let's crack this open gang and i'll tell you what each one costs and what each one is when we pull them out okay aside from that i hope you guys are doing well staying safe staying sane so 109 dollars 109 pounds uk okay shipping slip Take a look. Let's take a look. No, 
nice. Nicely packaged. And like I said, we've bought from this guy before. And we've bought uh, safe is okay, but I've always been crazy, Elder God. Uh, we've bought from the seller before. We've bought CGC graded books as well as raw books, not graded books, right? The CGC books are just CGC books. They're, you know, they were exactly what the guy had described. The raw books, his grading is higher than I would grade them, right? So I bid on these books not based on what the grade he was giving, but the grade. I thought they would be based on the pictures and based on the experience I've had with the seller just once by the way we just bought one package from this guy in the past and we've done the comic book haul video for it right so keep that in mind uh, that's uh, when I read the description to you guys and we'll we'll take a look at them right just to see what the grade is since there's only you know a handful of books here like literally a handful there's like six books or something cool nice nicely packaged right and he's got them in a bag so they're tight so you can just take them out of the bag which is a great way to do so. Right. It's just there's something nice about getting a shipment of comics that are nicely packaged. Right. I'm just removing the tapes. Don't want these snagging anything, right? Because we're going to pull, pull these things out of the bags and boards. Let's take a look. nice copies I thought they were actually gonna be a little bit worse than this let me show you what we got let me show you what we got wow it's warm again <laughs> I know we're in time I like wearing tan toss in the winter I like wearing my toque my toque keeps the head warm and I just stay warm I and mean, you wear wool socks and you're pretty much set right take a look at this I'll show you um i'll go with this one first let's go with this one first okay this comic is let me tell you how much i ended up paying for it first this comic i ended up buying it for 53 dollars canadian okay and he graded it at 5.5 and in us let me see if this will convert it to us automatically go from dot ca to dot com Oh, it does. It's like forty-one dollars U.S. Okay, and it's from nineteen fifty-five. So first year of the Comic Code kicking in. Uncanny Tales number thirty. Okay, and it's from Atlas Comics. Okay, beautiful. I wanted this. Right, I wanted this. So thirty pounds UK. Right. And Atlas Comics is the company that was uh, pre Marvel, right? Marvel, Atlas turned into Marvel, right? Nice. And he graded a 5.5. And just looking at the cover, uh, it is a 5.5. It's pretty good. So maybe he didn't overgrade this, right? Atlas, right? There's a Atlas logo. And he's got this in Mylar which I very much appreciate, right? Where I very much appreciate. So let's take it out of the bag. And let me tell you who the creators on this are. It's a, it's a really good price, gang. Okay, this was a great price. Uh, I'm happy with it, right? And uh, this thing is the, the cover. The cover is, who does, who's the cover? The cover, I think, I don't know if it's Dick Ayers or not. Uh, it doesn't have the cover who the cover is for this but this is dick Ayers artwork bill bunalis uh john fort 
Ed uh, Win Winaroski. Oh, I'm brutalizing the names here, gang. There's a whole bunch of people that worked in this. Okay, a whole bunch of people that worked in this. And uh, there's only nine of them graded at on uh, CGC. Okay, uh, CGC only has nine of these graded. How old? Are, this is 1955. 1955. Uh, yeah, it. it uh, you know what? It looks better than 5.5 here as well. <laughs> 90s, no, 1955. 1955. A chess. And we have a chess. Uh, I really wanted this because I love chess, right? Uh, I don't play it uh, as much anymore. I played a lot when I was a kid, right? And uh, we put out a chess video where we talked about. Uh, Knight's move, what's it called again? Uh, so let's check it out. So let's see. And the description let me read the description what this guy said in this description. He is like overselling it, right? But here's what he wrote, right? The book is graded a 5.5. This book has the general wear and tear associated with the age and grade of the uh, with the cover attached to the inside and the center fold is firm. Book is really nice and clean with great paper quality. The reason for the 5.5 grade is you can see uh, you can see a bit of chew on the top edge and a small piece missing from the bottom corner on the back. Such an uh, interesting cover. Uh, uh, almost along the lines of something like toilet anyway it continues on like that right so there is is this chewing i call this let's check it out here's what it's saying now i don't know if this is chewing or this is i think this is chipping i think he mu must have because i looked at this in the images right so take a look and i'm double watching as well Justice League number one has an awesome chest, awesome chest cover. Take a look at this. That's the chipping, right? I don't know if it's gonna. Hopefully, it'll focus. My computer's getting in the way. Come on. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Take a look. So that's the chipping. Now is that chewing? And that's only on the cover, right? And it doesn't go to the interior pages. Take a look. There. Oh, this is a beautiful piece. And here's the spine. Not bad. It's a good grade. 5.5 legit grade. It's a legit grade. Grade. Would it be a six? Mm, some people might grade it as a six. I would say between five and six is legit so 5.5 is a good grade right yeah beautiful cover right beautiful cover i really like it right. really like it look at the eyes on this this sort of reminds me of uh what's that black and white movie that death the guy starts playing chess with death elder god you should know what's it called uh, it's black and white. It's really old. It's a classic movie. It's a beautiful movie. Uh, Laugh out loud, Tony. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. And here's the back cover. And the back cover looks great as well. And this is a little chunk that he's talking about that's missing. But Ingram Bergman. Yeah, the seventh seal. L. Uh, Randall. Yeah, thank you for that. The seventh seal, gang. If you haven't watched the seventh seal, it's a beautiful black and white movie phenomenal movie very deep very deep okay look at this beautiful i believe this is dick Ayer's artwork it's a the inside is phenomenal look at that very nice oh we might have to read this one we might have to read this one
the world was black and white when Elder God was in his front. <laughs> Rendell. Oh, this looks great. The inside pages are fantastic. Like they're brown, they're not white. Uh, but beautiful. Nice. Great buy. Okay, so let's throw this back. And look at the other ones. Let's put this back nicely. Beautiful. Look at this thing. I'm very happy to have this. Really. I very nice, very nice. Hello from Northern BC. Hello, hello, Northern BC. Hello from Southern BC. <laughs> Let's put this guy here beautiful now i want to show you another one from 1956 and then we're going to kick it down to the golden age okay chicho do you know why nevada isn't releasing the results uh probably because they have uh, uh they're taken in bets they have a lot of bets they're hooked up with the casinos right <laughs> so they want to make sure they maximize the money they're taking in right Nevada is the gambling state in the United States, gambling place in the world, really, right? So that is what it is, right? Uh, there's a lot of shenanigans going on. There's a lot of shenanigans going on. But comic books, comic books. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. This is Headline Comics number 74, okay? Headline Comics from that uh from 1974 let me hold it up for you and i'll read you let me make sure i got this framed okay so you can see the cover here i'll hold this up and then i'm going to read you uh read you who the artists are on this and this is from 1956 okay and then i'll show it to you close up and we'll crack it open and the contents for this is uh marvin stein did the cover for this nick cardi marvin stein artwork so nick cardi pencils for first story and then marvin uh, stein inks and then john Prent prentice pencils for the second story bill drute pencils for the third story and then mort meskin pencils and inks for the last story okay and this was from prize publications uh, very good it like nice comic and it looks like to be great condition oh yeah by the way i paid once you see the next book in this this was a two comic book lot it was this one and i'll show you the next one it was 66 dollars canadian i paid for this 50 dollars us okay for two comic books this and the next one and the next one is worth three times what I paid both of these. Okay, so it was a great deal. But let me show you this one. We'll crack this one out of the cover so you can take a look at it. All right. Well, laugh out, Tony. Uh, uh, laugh out loud, Tony uh, or Tony. I'm just guessing. Like, I'm just playing. Like, we don't know. We don't know anything. That's the kicker, right? Oh, yeah. And he graded this one at uh let me see what the grade he gave on this one he graded this one at a five and he graded the other one or four i'm going to read the description all of these books have the general wear and tear associated with their grade the 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 other issue has such an awesome cover how often do you see it uh two tough books uh books that make you uh long for the olden days uh, anyway he starts going into the whole spiel where he's trying to sell the comics right so let's crack this open and he's got this in mylar as well right so i like the seller uh, i don't like it that he's charging tax uh, it's it's a youtube thing but it is his decision as well but let's check it out let's check it out newspaper thrills head headline headline comics january february 
1956. Take a look. And you know it's Silver Age because it's got the comic code on there, right? Is this a five? I would give this higher. Really. Just from looking at this right now. Five? Okay, five. I agree with the five. That one doesn't look as interesting as the last one. Still looks dope though. Color is really vibrant. Yeah, the color is really vibrant. And here's the the spine on it, right? The other comic that I bought in the set is headline comics as well. And that one, oh my, oh my. I'll show you who that one is. So this is a pretty good grade, right? Happy to have this. We need to do a comic book reading. We are trying to take this. We need to do a comic book reading. <laughs> Here's the back cover. Headline comics. What was in the headlines in 1956? Brainwash at Hong Kong. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Brainwash at Hong Kong. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Look at that relevant to today surprisingly no <laughs> nice cover and what do the tops here say in this issue ace lantern crack reporter of the worldwide news syndicate tells his exclusive story of brainwash at hong kong nice the inside is nice you know what uh, this is probably more than a five flash camera and photographer Look at that. nice nice copy elder god you lived in Hong Kong let's check this out great that's I'm very happy with the grade on this let's look at the grade on the next one let's look at the next one So let's close this off. Let's put this over here. This one, this one. Headline Comics, number 27. Number 27. Take a look. I'm gonna show you this and then we'll take it out of the cover. Let me tell you who the cover artist is for this. It's Jack Kirby and Joe Simon. Let me make sure that that's, I got that correct. I think they both worked on the cover. Uh, the cover, yeah, Jack Kirby pencils, Joe Simon inks. Color by Jack Kirby. Okay, the first story is script is Joe Simon and Jack Kirby, pencils Jack Kirby, inks Joe Simon. The second story is a Western. It doesn't have who did it. The third story is Bill Drut, inks and pencils. Okay. Uh, the uh, fourth story is uh, Bill Drought as well. The last story, again, is script Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. Pencils Jack Kirby and inks most likely Joe Simon. And this thing came out in 1947. 1947. And there's only one of these things that I could see CGC graded. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's a good buy. This with the other one was uh, $50 US, right? And this he graded at four. Just looking at this without taking it out of the Mylar, I would grade this more than a four. Okay. Laugh at lot, Tony. You're welcome, man. I've been following you on Twitch and YouTube for a while. About time to start sport. Thank you very much for the support, Tony. Appreciate it appreciate it like really we got two comic books here that uh, i want to read like the chess one and this one i want to read them uh we'll try to make sure we have a read through them okay and let's crack this open he graded this as a four now i was going into bidding on these 
assuming that they're going to be a little bit lower than what is grading just from the previous experience so far i'm very happy with the grades he gave those ones i would might, might even give it a little higher so i'm even happier than when i was when i ended up winning them so let's check this out he gave this a four he gave this a four Maybe a 4.5. Like this. Let me show it to you. Sorry, gang. Four? Four, I'm okay with. Look at this. Jack Kirby, Joe Simon, the FBI. In thrilling action. Headline comics. stand back you let's see if we can focus on this and i can read it off the screen stand back you what does that say sawbones i'm operating on this copper only he won't be alive after i give him the let treatment awesome <laughs> look at that awesome awesome beautiful and he's a copper look at that he's got his hat there right very cool very cool here's the back cover muscle man right. yeah the coloring is fantastic for this right beautiful beautiful coloring really stands out stand back you sawbones haha <laughs> nice chicho it looks good that's a great buy yeah great buy great buy there's a little chunk missing here at the bottom Let's see oh look at this it's the the staples are nice and tight on this stella stella ma dickens the bobby socks bandit queen look at that very nice fill them full of lead fill them full of lead Oh, women gangster. Women gangster. The guns of Jesse James. Oh, snap. Look at this. The guns of Jesse James gang. Very nice. Very nice. Great buy. Great buy very happy to have this in uh, in the collection uh this is going for at grade four the price we paid for this is insanely insanely low like really this was a crazy great deal crazy great deal okay crazy and it looks amazing in the mylar right it's uh you know cut on top a little bit so some people call this um, what do you call it misplacing i forget what it's called to me it, it's the cut right jc uh, am i am i keeping it or flipping i'm keeping this uh i'm not uh i don't I, the comic books that i've sold on ebay uh 
the ones we did last year and any additional ones that I, I do plan on selling a little bit. I've been meaning to sell a little bit just to raise funds so I can get the money coming in so I can do a serious upgrade to the hardware. Uh, but I held off because the U.S. mail service was just insane. I talked to one seller and he said uh, he he had to refund everybody he sent books to uh, a few months ago because none of the books got delivered. They're all sitting in a warehouse. So he had to refund everybody. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not, I can't afford that, right? I, I'm not going to list the books, sell them, and then have to refund everyone. It's, no. So I'm, I'm waiting until this election chaos is over before I list stuff. But any books that I sell, it's it. I have additional copies of those books, right? Or additional copy of that book. I don't, I, I, I don't flip uh, where I buy really great deals and then sell them again right unless i all of a sudden i need major funds coming in which i haven't had to do i've sort of decentralized my life i take my own advice in regards to personal finance to a degree sometimes i don't uh so i've decentralized myself where i've reduced my expenses and uh, barring any cat catastrophes i don't need any major influx i just manage things and i do my i do things slow-mo uh, and do multiple things in a row layer things right uh so at some point i'll get back into it uh selling some stuff on ebay uh but uh nice he put these on mylar too yeah very good i like the seller i like the seller uh they're arresting all the cattle fish uh Oh yeah, the mail service is fuck right now in the States. Good call. Yeah, bird. I, I promised uh, someone, you know, there's actually more than one person contacted me saying, hey, Chicho, when are you going to put the mermaid comics off? I want to want to buy some mermaid comics. And when you, you know, want to support you by buying comics uh, from your uh, from your eBay, eBay uh, page uh, and whatnot. I just, you know, I meant to do it a while ago, but then this guy told me the books weren't being delivered. He had to refund and there was shenanigans going on. So I just said, okay, I got to put it on hold. Once this is all over, probably next month, I might start uh, listing some stuff. Let me show you the next lot we bought, right? The next lot was three books, okay? Ended up costing $43 Canadian, which is, which is $33 US, okay? And these books are X-Men number 160, first full appearance of magic, Ileana Rasputin. For first adult appearance of magic, and it predates magic number one. So this was her first adult appearance and then this story i believe kicked into magic number one okay so what they told in this story uh the continuation of this went into magic mini series which was magic number one two three four okay where we see the birth of magic really and the grades he gave these books he said one of them was a for sure 9.2 another one was a for sure 9.4 and another one he said has a little bang on the edge top corner in the back and he gave it an 8.5 right and i already have this uh cover i did not cover i already have this comic uh i have a huge pretty nice x-men run okay uh but uh i i don't think i have any additional copies of this and this is an important book right and the the story for this the cover is by uh, brent anderson uh the pencils and the inks by bob whack uh the story is chris uh Wa wasset i guess bob wasset the story is chris claremont's story right and pencils brent anderson and bob wasset and and so on and so forth but this is a chris claremont story right should we crack this one open too Let's crack one of them open. Let me see which one is the one that's the top is banged up. Hard to tell. They're beautiful copies, by the way. Very good copies. I think it's this one. Let's crack this one open. We'll take a look inside. And he put these in Mylar as well. Fantastic. 
right? I, I talk with this guy, uh, you know, asking him if, because he puts stuff up uh, once a week, and you know, he allows people two weeks to buy books. So this is this wasn't all in one shot. It took me three weeks to buy these. I was bidding on some other books and I got overbid. So you know, I try to win my low bid offers, right? Limited on funds, go for the low bids, right? Why not? Is this the one? I don't even know if this is the one. He took a seriously close picture on it. <laughs> this is the one I can't tell. <laughs> Let me show you the cover. And I love magic. Magic is fantastic. And it's uh, Colossal's uh, sister, right? And Chris Claremont X Men, you know, it really doesn't get any better than Chris Claremont X Men. Classic, 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 classic. And this thing came out, uh, what year did this come out? What year did this come out? What year did this come out? This thing came out in 1982. Okay, so this is 1982. So copper age. Look at this, beautiful. And the comic sits well. I mean, whoa. <laughs> All right. I mean, I have to hold the cover open, right? Shoots and ladders. And I believe in this story, they go to hell. And the demon for this story, I've read this a long time ago. Beautiful artwork, look at this. <laughs> classic, classic, classic. Look at a Wolverine and his cigar. Look at a Wolverine and his cigar. Classic, classic, classic. Right? And here is Storm. Where is Ileana? Let's find Ileana. Oh, there's the demon. He appears. Ooh, very nice. Look at this. And it's the first appearance of... Uh, check that out. And it's the first appearance of this demon. This guy right here. That guy. I believe it's the first appearance of this guy. And his name is... Uh, What's his name? Good day, boss. Uh, Sim. S, uh, comma, whatever, exclamation, not exclamation, apostrophe, Y-M. <clears throat> so it's his first appearance. Okay, the, first, the adult Ileana. Oh, look at this. Here's child Ileana, right? In here. Uh, where is it? Over there? Oops. Hey, over there, that one. Right? And then there's Storm. Oops, over this side. Right. Storm is crazy sexy, right? Oh, look at Wolverine. Okay, I can, we can't look at this whole thing. Maybe at some point we will eat this thing. Where is the adult Ileana? Let's take a look at the adult Ileana. Oh, look at this. Oh, there she is. Yeah, look at this. There she is right there. Uh, this one right there. All right, she's a kid in this panel. Where is it? Uh, what? Oh, yeah. She's a kid down here in the bottom, right? In here. And then she's an adult here. Cool. Very cool. Goodbye. And it is, it is a goodbye for $33. So basically $11 each. And, you know, we've done a lot of uh, 
per unit grade, right? So eleven dollars US each is a good, very good price for this. For nine point two average, let's call it average of nine point two, nine point two, nine point four, and eight point five, right? Uh, which is great. Which very happy with. Ah, goodbye, gang. That was a good buy. Thank you for the follows, gang. Life like. Uh, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Obviously, thank you for being here. All right. Uh, I thought it was a good idea just to do some chill streams and upload the chill videos, the streams we did with mathematics to be chewed in YouTube. Right. So while people were going through a little bit of chaos, a little bit of anxiety starting on November 3rd yesterday, we load on math, comic books, math, comic books. That's the way I'm going to do it right so tomorrow i'm gonna to load upload the math one most likely on bitchute and youtube and then hit it up with another this comic book haul video uh the next day and then we're gonna get into uploading an entheogen stream on bitchute it's bitchute exclusive it won't go on youtube great stream thanks on charge thank you for being here. i'm glad you were here you were looking forward to this entheogen stream on bitchute and then we're going to load the two Julian Assange streams we did on BitChute and YouTube. Okay. And I believe that takes us, just to let you guys know, I believe once we load on the la the two Julian Assange streams, that takes us to 999 videos on YouTube. Okay. 999 videos on YouTube. I believe with the two Julian Assange streams done. If we hit nine if we're gonna hit 1000 before uh, with the two Julian Assange streams I might do because I've been getting questions request to do a politics stream soon I'm I think we're gonna to have to do one because a lot of people are asking me to do this right um, so we might do one on the weekend a politics stream just to let everyone vent and talk about whatever it is they need to talk about but we're gonna do a 1000 uh, video anniversary uh to load it up on youtube and i think what we're gonna do is just do a very long q a session live stream on twitch multi-hour i'm just gonna sit here and we're gonna celebrate and we're gonna talk about whatever we want to talk about i think that's what we'll end up doing okay and then we'll upload up those upload that to bitchute for i don't know how many videos we got on bitchute now and We'll upload that as our 1,000th video anniversary uh, on YouTube. Okay. If you guys have any other ideas, we could do. And uh, one thing we can do is Q&A session. Uh, one thing we can do as well, I know a lot of people have racked up a lot of points on Twitch. So what we could do is, um, I'll say we can talk about anything, but if you redeem points, 99.9% .9 chance I'll answer we'll talk about whatever you want to talk about maybe discord call-ins I, I, we haven't done that yet elder god I'm not sure how to do that uh, maybe redeem points for discord call-ins I don't know we got to set up some kind of filter system on that right because uh, we don't we don't want to get knocked off twitch and and uh, YouTube and whatnot right discord call is prepare for the troll yeah that's the kicker right uh and since all the technocrats the platforms are not really they're too busy censoring creators they're not taking the tro taking care of troll actions right and spam action uh, like youtube is crazy i'm deleting multiple posts of these female bots saying i love love and it's weird <laughs> it's just weird <laughs> it's controlled access <laughs> gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for being here uh and the if you want to know what this is all about i'm on patreon we're live streaming on twitch we announced these live streams on lo minds vk parlor gap twitter we upload audio to soundcloud when we don't have any visuals involved as podcasts and they should be available on uh, iTunes and BitChute, just a new locked voice channel. We need to do something. Uh, we do in the next thousand videos we put out Elder God. And we will be uploading this video to both BitChute and YouTube. 
Okay. Computer Blue 12 came in late. Chicho, hope all is well. Doing well, Computer Blue. Thank you very much. We're just a handful of videos away, probably just one live stream away from our being able to load 1,000 videos on YouTube. So, anniversary for us. Uh, pretty good one, actually. 15 years of uploading, sharing content on YouTube. Not bad. Not bad. And it is in large part because of the support we're getting on Patreon, Twitch, YouTube, BitChute, on all the different platforms. And uh, thank you for the love, gang. I hope you enjoy the content and uh, expect these videos to be loaded on probably back to back, one day apart on uh, YouTube and BitChute. And expect a politics live stream on probably the weekend just to get her one you know whatever they want to talk about and those of you watching on youtube that politics live stream will not be loaded on youtube if you want to follow the politics content that we're creating you need to be either on twitch uh, during the live streams and watch them video on demand for a couple of weeks on twitch they're available or watch them when they're loaded on bit shoot youtube is gonna is killing channels that are not censoring their content their discussions and we're not going to censor our political discussions so we just can't load them on youtube otherwise we'll get deep platform uh, and we don't want to get deep platform right gang i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys soon bye everyone the twitch discord bot is the one to use i think bye everyone and thank you for being here